Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. Okay, so to get started today, I just wanted to talk with you for a minute, chit chat about this Canton trade day, this huge flea market in Canton, Texas that we went to. Now, if you watched my video last Friday, you saw uh, the video from that. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my haul finds uh, and at the Canton, Texas uh, flea market. And I also want to, first of all, I want to share tips and uh, with you before, if you're considering going uh, to Canton, Texas uh, trade days, I wanted to just share a few tips with you. If you are not considering going or don't have that on your bucket list and you may wanna skip this part, uh, but it, it kind of uh, explains some things. So if you're interested in, in going, um, you're gonna to wanna to watch this part of the video. So let's go ahead and get started with that first. Okay, friends, tip number one, bring your own cash with you. I know that sounds so simple, right? Wrong. <laughs> no, we did bring some cash with us, but not nearly enough cash. We just were not prepared at all uh, with that because we were assuming that there would be ATM machines there. I've been to many different flea markets before and there's always usually an ATM machine if you want to get more cash out and you can. And they did have quite a few ATM machines where you could get cash out. But the only problem was, was the machines weren't working that day for whatever reason. I have no idea why the ATM machines were all down and you could not get cash out. Now, whether they just weren't working that day or they were out of cash, I have no idea. But other people were having the same issue that we were. So I'm sure it was uh, very frustrating not only for the shoppers, but for the vendors as well, because people would have spent quite a bit more, I am I'm sure of that, uh, that day had the machines been working in working order. So that was uh, something very unexpected uh, that happened. And you also need cash because you'll have to pay for uh, parking. And it's really inexpensive, it's only $5 to park, so that wasn't bad at all. And so you just need to pay each day that you uh, go, if you're gonna go for more than one day. And the other thing I wish that they would have for the parking is some kind of parking pass that they give you, maybe to put on your dash of your car, or uh, maybe a little pass you could hang on your mirror in your vehicle or you know even just like a stamp in your hand so that you can get in and out and come and go as you please that is something i think that they could definitely improve upon because that way you could leave and come back if you needed to for whatever reason like getting cash out <laughs> so that's tip number one Okay, can we talk about number one again? I am still on number one. I I am still so upset about number one. Uh, anyway, I do wanna mention something about the cash thing again because I was just so upset because you know, if you can imagine this place is huge and you keep seeing things that you wanna get but you can't get because you don't have enough cash, it was torture, okay? So we gotta talk about this some more. <laughs> Oh, so we go back the second day, right? And we got our cash with us. We got the cash out in the morning, went back the next day to get just a few things that we really wanted to get before going back home. And we weren't planning on staying very long. We just wanted to cover a little bit of the area that we missed the previous day, which we covered a lot of ground the first day. So there was just a few things, a few more buildings that we wanted to see that we didn't get to see the previous day. So we go back and we're planning on getting our items first so that we can make sure that we get those items that we wanted. 
And so we are looking and looking and looking and searching and searching this huge flea market, trying to find the vendor in the booth that uh, the items that we wanted were in. And we could not find them again. And we searched that place over. We, we spent most of the time searching and looking for those items that we wanted to get. And we could not find, there was two things in particular that we were going back for and that were too heavy to carry around the flea market the first day. And we thought we'll just come back the next day and we'll get them and we'll load them up and we'll be out of here. And we could not find them. So the weather had taken a turn um, on us. The first day was beautiful weather, it was perfect. The second day it was uh, going to storm and the wind had picked up and uh, it was very dreary, cloudy, uh, overcast day. So the first uh, thing that we wanted, we just could not find. And so we think that they might have cleaned up and left because the weather was bad or they might not have set up at all the next day um, because of the weather uh, forecast for, for the day. And the second item that we wanted, um, she was there and uh, we saw it and we were going to go get the first item first and then come back and get that I the second item that we wanted and um, because we knew exactly where that booth was for the second item, we didn't know where the first item was. So we thought we'd go hunt and search for that first because we couldn't really remember. We thought we knew, but we could not find that vendor. So we never found the first vendor that we were looking for, but we spent majority of our time looking for that item. And then the second item we went back for like I said, she was set up there. Um, we saw her when we first had come into the flea market and she was still there. But when we left, she had cleaned up and cleaned up her booth space and, and left because of the weather had gotten bad and very windy. And um, like I said, it looked like it was gonna rain any minute. So she probably cleaned up and left early because of the weather. So it was so sad because we did not get the two items that we really wanted that were too heavy uh, to carry around. And we thought we would come back and get them the second, the next day. And we were not able to get either item uh, that we wanted. So number two tip for, for you is if you see it, you love it, get it or it may not be there when you go back to get it and uh, you do not want to be disappointed that it's gone and uh, there was also this um, third item that I really wanted that I did not get the first day because first of all we didn't have enough cash to get it and secondly I couldn't I didn't see the vendor in the booth space so there was no one to talk to no one around to talk to when I saw this beautiful picture. I'll try to insert a picture of it. I love this picture and uh, really wanted it. Um, so there was probably like, yeah, three things uh, that we didn't get that we really would have liked to have brought home with us at least. Um, if I would have had cash, more cash the first day, I would have definitely um, gotten more uh, that first day. And uh, the second day was hard because we had already covered so much ground a lot more ground the first day and we didn't go back to every booth space so then um i i missed out on getting um you know quite a bit that i probably would have picked up and bought the first day um had we had uh, more cash on us okay so that would be let's see that's number two and i guess uh, to go along with number two tip would be to take the vendor's number if it's something that you really love that maybe um you're either think just thinking about it or you want to come back and get it because it's too heavy and um, see if they will maybe hold it for you. You could, if you've gotten their phone number, at least you could call and tell them you want that item and uh, you're just going to get the cash out um, and, and be back for it if they could hold it for you. I, if we would have had those vendors phone number, business card or something, um, we could have done that on those items that we wanted. So that's another um, suggestion and tip I would uh, give to you. 
Okay, so now that I've gotten over number one, we I've discussed number two, let's talk about number three now. So my number three tip would be to bring a flea market cart with you or some kind of a wagon or something to be able to put your goodies in so that you're not having to carry everything around or keep making trips back to your vehicle. Uh, because this place is so huge, you won't be able to keep making trips back to your vehicle. Uh, so you'll be carrying it around with you the whole time. So that would be a suggestion. And I have a flea market cart. I don't know what I was thinking. I cannot believe I forgot to bring it with me. And so that, that would definitely be my tip number three. I did remember to bring my flea market cart to Round Top, Texas when my mom and I went to that. That was another thing that had been on my bucket list. And if you ever get a chance to go, it was so much fun. It was so awesome. We loved it. And that was um, on my bucket list as well as Canton. So uh, if I go back, I will definitely uh, do a video of that. I would love to go back so I could video it and share that experience with you as well. Okay, moving on to tip number four you are going to want to make sure that you have comfortable footwear. And luckily I did have very comfy walking shoes on. I knew um, I would want to be comfortable that we were going to be doing quite a bit of walking. I had no idea how much walking, but I was prepared in that department. So make sure that you have comfortable footwear. And for anyone who cannot walk long distances, they have scooter rental available there. So that is really nice that they offer that. Okay, so for tip number five, I would say to bring your own bottled water or your favorite beverage with you because like I keep saying, I keep stressing it, this place is huge. And so you're going to want to stay hydrated. Uh, you're doing a lot of walking. And if you're like me, you want to see the whole place and you don't want to leave any stone unturned. So you just want to keep going and make sure you don't miss anything. So you're going to want to stay hydrated, like I said, and there are lots of different food and beverage vendors throughout, but if you don't want to stop and you just want to keep going, you're going to want to have um, some type of beverage with you for sure. Okay, so for tip number six, if you're going during warmer months, uh, especially summertime, you're going to want to make sure that you have a hat with you uh, to protect uh, you from the sun. And if you are more fair complected like myself, you're going to want to probably have some sunscreen as well. So yeah, that's, that's it for tip number six. Okay, so for tip number six, I would say if you're going during the warmer months, especially summertime, you're going to want to have a hat. And if you are more fair complexion like myself, you're going to maybe even want sunscreen. So yeah, that's it for tip number six, friends. Okay, well, I hope these tips will be helpful to you and help you uh, out your first time going to Canton, Texas Monday, uh, first Monday trade days. And you know, we would have liked to have been more prepared, but hey, we had a great time and just really enjoyed the whole experience and just taking it all in, even though we weren't able to um, purchase as much as we would have probably would have um, if the circumstances would have been different. But we had a fun time and that's what's most important. And like I said, just had a great experience just taking it all in and looking at everything and talking with people. And it was a lot of fun. So. I hope that you will have a great experience as well and you will definitely be more prepared going into it after uh, hearing my, my tips. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and get into the haul video portion of, of this video. Okay, so for these uh, next few items I'm gonna share with you, I normally would purchase uh, greenery at Michael's or Hobby Lobby but um, I haven't seen any like these, um, the ones I'm gonna show you there. So I picked these up because normally um, I'm used to getting them there at a discount at 40 or 50% off. So this was a little bit pricier to me. This was $7.95. Um, 
I don't know if you can see that my light is really bright when I get too close to the camera but it's $7.95 um, for this one and the reason why I liked it though is because it is flat on the bottom here so you can stick them on like candle holders and different containers and it's not gonna roll off like a garden ball would so okay so for these first few items i'm going to share with you i would normally buy them at like michael's or hobby lobby but i haven't ever seen any like this there at those stores before so i thought this was something different um, that i've not seen before so i thought these were neat and they had a lot of spring and easter type decor um, so they have a lot of pretty things but most of it um, like I said, I would just probably buy at Hobby Lobby or Michael's store and get it 40 to 50% off. These were a little bit pricey. I thought it's $7.95, but I've never seen them before. And I thought there was something, uh, something different, um, really neat, uh, that I can put on a candle holder, for example, and it's not going to roll off like a garden ball might, um, more easily fall off, um, something like this. So I think that look really cute and um, I just got it setting on a French country um, candle holder. It's so big it's hard to show you um, the whole thing on camera. So I picked uh, two of these up and because um, I have two candle holders that I'll probably be using them on but they could go in any type of container. They look really neat in like a smaller um, urn or um, some kind of really cool garden type container so I really like those so I picked up two of those and then the other thing I got was this cute little uh, greenery here that I can put in a pot I really love using greenery in my decor especially for spring and summer and this one was $6.95 and I love how this has this, um, the roots here uh, coming out. It just uh, looks like the dirt and the roots of the plant. So I thought that was really unique and different too. I've never seen anything like that before um, in, in the stores. So I thought that was cool. Okay, the next thing I got was this really neat um, candle, uh, electrified uh, candle here. And it's got the on and off switch which is really nice. And I actually have one of these um, already, but I wanted to get another one because I like the one that I have so much. I have it inside one of my dining room hutches and it lights it up uh, and just brightens up the hutch that normally just looks too dark inside and you can't see my items without it. So I love using this, this type of thing to light up inside of um, dining room hutches. I uh, think they're also really nice. Um, I can put this in a lantern um, to light up a lantern. And that's actually how they had it displayed. And I will insert a picture um, for you to see um, of that. And I really liked how it looked and how they had it displayed in their um, this vendor's particular booth uh, with these candles. So I really liked that. So I got one of those. The next item I purchased was this really pretty book and I love the colors on here and also um, I just loved it because it says Paris and the Fleur de Lis with the crown. I just think it's so pretty and I love using these types of things in my decor to uh, add height um, to if I lay it this way and I set something on top I can add height um, in my decor and also it's nice because you also have storage here um, inside it as well so i really like this and um, so i picked this up okay the next item i got was a super cute bag of course i love it because it is uh french with this french wording on here it looks almost like a french stencil i'm not sure if this was uh, handmade or not, uh, but I love the French grain sack striping going down the center. And of course I love the crown and the wording on here. And then it just has the simple stripe on the back side. Uh, just love the um, burlap fabric on this bag as well. So yeah, I think that that's 
just super cute. So I had to get that. Okay, the next couple of items I want to share with you are actually clothing. And I know that sounds really strange to be going there to buy clothing. They are brand new items, but still I know it's, it's a little strange, but uh, I just couldn't pass it up. I found some really cute items there for clothing. And I did the same thing when I went to Round Top, Texas, uh, just because, you know, they were unique and different things that I haven't seen uh, here locally where I, I'm from and so I just I don't know what it is about their clothing in Texas they just have some of the cutest clothing I think so the first item I got there was this super cute shirt this is bonjour on it I love that and the original price was uh, 38 for it but um, I got this on sale for only seven dollars so I thought that was a great price and I thought it was just adorable. So I had to get that and then uh, let me grab my other clothing item real quick. Okay, the next item I got are pants. And actually when I was looking at these pants, a lady uh, came up to me and I was already planning on buying a pair, but she really sealed the deal for me and sold me on, on the pants because she had already bought a pair of these pants uh, previous when she had been at the flea market before and she was telling me that she was wanting to buy more of them because she loved the pants so much and they're so comfortable and she said she wished she had a pair in every color and she was uh, looking at them and at the same time I was looking at them and I was like oh man I'm probably gonna wish that I had one in every color too then because they do look so comfortable and they're so cute and I love the little pan, uh, pockets here in the front of the pants. And there's one pocket on um, both sides here. And they just look so cute, so comfy. And I think they're going to be perfect for summertime. And I love that you can um, draw up the sides and tie them because I am a shorty. So uh, I have a hard time finding pants um, that are the right uh, length for me. And these just look like they're going to be perfect and uh, perfect for summer as well. They're a very lightweight material, so it's gonna be very nice um, for summer, very um, comfortable and, and cozy, uh, comfy pants, I think. It's really hard to show how cute they are um, on camera here, but I do love the little ruffle at the bottom as well, and uh, I, think, I think they're gonna be so cute for summertime. So I was excited to find that because, like I said, I have a hard time finding pants because I'm so short. And especially it's so hot here in Southern Louisiana, it's just really nice to have this uh, lightweight uh, material. And so, yeah, I love, love those two items that I found. Okay, for this next item, I had to bring you into my living room because I've already placed it here in the living room. So this is what I got, uh, and I already had the bunnies. So I just put the little bunnies in there for spring and Easter. And then the little uh, wreath greenery, I just recently picked up that small little wreath from Dollar General for $5, and I put that little wreath around the bunnies. And then I have a little moss, green moss uh, pad underneath the bunnies as well so I think that looks really cute right there and I love the fleur-de-lis on top of here so I thought that was a really neat little find and I think that's gonna be super nice um, decor piece for spring and Easter okay so the next item I purchased was this window frame I just love the diamond shaped window frames I have Two that are very similar in my office and I think I'm going to be putting this one above my sink in the laundry room and I think it'd be really pretty like if I hang a small little wreath on it I have one here that I will show you that I purchased from Walmart they come in a two-pack this one is the fern wreath and uh, they also come uh, in different, they have different kinds at Walmart. And um, like I said, this one is the fern one. And I also hung the other fern one 
above here. Let's see, I think it just looks cute. It's the perfect little size to hang uh, when you, where you need just a little small little wreath. And um, I think it's gonna be really cute hung on the window frame there. And then um, I also purchased some similar to this one, but they're in the boxwood, um, boxwood wreath instead of the fern. And I hung those on the back of my uh, six chairs in my dining room. And uh, it looks so pretty for spring and Easter. So yeah, I was very excited to find those little small wreaths and um, at Walmart. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Okay, the first item here I wanna share with you is this really pretty little table here. And normally it comes in a set of three and they're nesting tables, but I only found this one in this particular uh, vendor's uh, space. And I saw three in another space, but the gentleman had said that they were already sold. So I ended up finding this one in a different booth and grabbed that up really quick. And I love the curvy legs on here. I think it has a French flair to it, even though it is made in Italy. Okay, the next thing I picked up were these three glass uh, crystals. Because I have a lamp that is missing uh, the exact same size and shape crystals, and uh, I miss, was missing three. And so I picked up these three and I'm really excited that I found these because it's gonna go really nicely on the lamp that I already have. And uh, I will try to insert a picture okay. of that lamp for you so you can see what I'm talking about. And I had added on some other crystals, but they were not the right size or shape. So they didn't match, but uh, I'm excited to add these to my lamp. So here it is with the crystals all matching. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm so glad I was able to find three uh, matching crystals for my lamp. The next thing I picked up were these two wooden uh, white corbels that are distressed. I just love uh, any type of architectural pieces anyway. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this wooden bowl because I couldn't resist. It was on the dollar table at the flea market outside, and I just thought uh, it's a little rough on the bottom there, but I'm going to be painting it and then distressing it anyway, so it won't matter, and I think it'll be really nice when I'm all done with it. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this Florida Lee decorative piece here that is metal. It's pretty heavy. And I think I will probably be painting it and distressing it. I'm not sure yet, probably in a white or cream color. And then I also picked up this door knocker, which could also be used to hold a hand towel. And then I picked up this little decorative piece here, as well as this um, bottle opener. I love this French country chair that Mr. Hubster and I spotted pretty much at the exact same time and made a beeline for it. And I just put it here in the corner in our office slash school room where our piano is as well. And I think it goes really nicely with this picture that we have hanging above here on the wall. I thought this little garden flag was so cute. So I ended up getting this. I think this is gonna be so cute to put out uh, this summer and I love it. It says, home is where your honey is, and it's the same on both sides. I do want to mention that the lady that was selling this in her, the flags in her vendor space, she actually accepted debit cards, whereas most of them did not. The people that were selling the greenery normally accept debit cards, but their credit card machine was not working that day, inside the building so uh remember cash is king <laughs> okay friends the last piece i want to share with you is going to be for a future diy project i'm very excited to share that with you so that'll be coming soon so stay tuned for that so until next time friends au revoir